Welcome to TradingMBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 29th of December. And, well, it's 50%. We had white MBI start to take the lead just below the 50%. We'd still been in this continuation mode, which is just back and forth. Um, the real clue was the NASDAQ, though, uh, with the white MBI leading, and we expected it to move towards the zero. I have to lower that. Uh, we can see that we're minus 20% so far for the year. Not much time to recover that. Uh, again, this is the same situation we were talking about uh, where hadn't been a strong short activity. We can still see that on the DOC here with the science still right around the zero level, but just no impetus from buyers to lift things. And that usually leads to the weight of the market itself always pushes slightly lower on that. Nothing catastrophic, though. And here we had the white MBI lead that we were talking about on the NASDAQ, um, suggesting the 0%, and that's when it broke below the 23. And now we're at the 0%. Right there is 16.749, or sorry, 0%, 10, 794. Uh, so we are at 93 and a quarter right at the zero percent uh which is rising but needless to say fills that doesn't mean it's not going to get worse because as you can see and we have white spiking up and magenta falling further um almost have orange crossing about uh cyan uh, which continue to be negative and then shake out been negative well since the early part of that doc spread which started back up at the peak so not promising um, and of course, the continuation here, the whole pump fake of the uh, bond market, uh, pushing yields down when we knew that rates were going to continue to rise and that final recognition, pushing it down here now, even below 99.50, uh, we were over 100 before. And that fills in positive extremes from that whole brief uh, narrative that was being sold that uh, somehow the Fed was going to have to stop because, uh, well, the Indicators are that things are holding on, not great, but they're not uh, desperate like uh, a lot of the predictions were. And we could kind of see that as some of the data was coming through because it was highly conflicted back and forth. And that meant that uh, there was just some absorption of it. And like we pointed out, uh, well, geez, at the early part of uh, summer and before spring, that it would be regional and vary depending on location. Uh, oil. Still hovering uh, just under 80 now, but uh, right around that point, as long as it stays below 80 um, consistently, uh, may still be the possibility of absorption. Obviously, uh, lower would be a much better uh, situation, but certainly uh, worse from a uh, treasury standpoint that, uh, again, this is a liquidity sucker, and that's exactly what the Fed wants with the inflation it serves both things. Uh, the real problem is, is that uh, the deficit uh, effect, as we saw with the omnibus bill, it's just huge deficits that are going to compound itself. But when you can keep printing and people still use it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, from a gold standpoint, again, that is probably going to keep gold up here and or if not push it a little bit higher simply because you're devaluing the dollar and well almost all every other currency as well um from a euro standpoint again like i talked about the suggestion is the u.s should continue to at least hold or climb uh, given where it is simply because uh, they've been supported with the uh, purchases of uh, fuel in that so it gives them plenty of opportunity and again the whole Bitcoin crisis uh, leading into that FTX and the whole confidence crisis that uh, cryptos now face is uh, certainly not helpful and tracking fairly reasonable to what the S&P is doing. Uh, not as bad as the NASDAQ, but certainly mm, nothing positive. And the same situation for uh, ETH. Holding right around its 23% all fairly bleak from a 50k standpoint sell started a couple of days ago and we went into that sideways motion took in another short and uh, followed that all the way down to the zero percent and that was mbi white leading the whole way still is so no surprise with that and it was quite nice on the 5k when you look at it but a little back and forth 
little pre-market pump there, but um, yeah, the dip below the red line that needed to be retraced that was back over here from the extremes. That buy was clean, but as soon as the DOC spread started, that was the sell signal that came in, matched with the magenta crossing below, and tried to hold on, but boom, that was pretty clean from a red. Um, cover point came just right around the 23%. Another pump, clean sell signal as well. A little bit, uh, this is one of those where you could wait one or two uh, bars, certainly when the uh, cyan crossed above green. Uh, the next uh, violet colored candle right there with the magenta well below under uh, MBI readings um, gave the indication that uh, it was going to move lower. It tried to make a pump back up just briefly for a bar or two, but then put in the secondary cell. And that one took us a little bit lower, still above that uh, uh, 3796, but Really, we had most of that action was right around that 38.60. So the breakdown here below the 23 critical. So they're going to push that back up to the 23 or you're in danger of uh, really starting to move lower. And a uh, certain point uh, for year end, that can escalate and really be problematic. So we expected, uh, well, at least I did. I mentioned that we would expect some more fireworks before the year end. And uh, uh, this was significant enough of a move to really... Uh, Justify that. I mean, 60 plus point move to the downside uh, from that peak and even more from the overall uh, top of at 70. Fairly significant, um, but as a percentage, still modest. But needless to say, this is uh, going to be an ongoing thing uh, throughout the next uh, part of the year as uh, the battle back and forth between any positive news uh, certainly is going to create a trigger uh, for. Uh, you know, higher, but I think you're just going to get a lot more of these pops that then uh, fade. And that's just going to give us plenty of excellent signals. And as we're all very clean from a 5K standpoint, even from the 50K, um, nothing's been uh, out of sorts, uh, whether it surprises some or others. Don't really care. Uh, it's pretty clear for us. So we'll continue at that. And obviously, you can look for. Uh, January 2023 indicators to be coming out. Excited for the new year to begin. I think we're going to have a really exciting one as far as trading. I think that uh, probably not going to be that great for buy and hold types, but that's a whole different story. As always, though, you continue to look for me on the Skype chat. I'll keep putting up anything relevant uh, as we go. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.